Do you know of someone who is a narcissist? You may be aware of one or have been engaged with one. They could be your family, your partner, or even your colleagues. You can't help but feel exploited and disrespected when a narcissist in your life constantly blames, manipulates, and puts you down. Denying narcissists of their needs may cause them to lash out at you since often they perceive it as you doubting their sense of self. When this happens, you're doomed to receive toxic behaviors from the narcissist. Nonetheless, the key to dealing with narcissists is to learn to stand up to them and protect yourself instead of allowing them to disrespect you. If you want to learn how to protect yourself from a narcissist, watch on. Set boundaries. Do you know someone who frequently manipulates you to get what they want? Or someone who would go to great lengths to exploit others? If you find yourself nodding to the question, most probably you are dealing with a narcissist. According to licensed marriage and family therapist Dan Neuarth, one way to protect yourself from being manipulated is to set firm boundaries. The freedom to choose what you disclose to others is part of creating boundaries. When you keep your personal information close to your chest, the narcissist in your life will not be able to use that information against you. You must also determine which behaviors you will tolerate and which you won't. For example, the narcissist may frequently call you derogatory names. You know this is unacceptable, so you draw the line and say you'll end the conversation until the narcissist can be respectful. Be firm. Licensed mental health counselor Bismar Anwar revealed that it is inadequate to only establish your boundaries with a narcissist without following through with what you promise to do when your boundaries are violated. As the saying goes, actions speak louder than words. For example, when you are personally attacked by the narcissist, Tell them that you are done with the conversation, then simply leave. Don't succumb to their relentless badgering or continued attempts to gain the upper hand. Walk the talk and begin advocating for your own needs instead of always caving in to their sense of grandiosity. Grey rocking. Imagine yourself walking alongside a stream and your eyes fixate on a grey rock. You think to yourself, how indistinguishable this one rock is from numerous other rocks laying around. Have you ever wanted to avoid attracting a narcissist's attention? Then perhaps becoming a grey rock could seem like a smart move. Obviously, humans cannot transform into rocks, but this is where the concept of grey rocking originates from. Licensed marriage and family therapist Dr. Carol McBride says that narcissists thrive on conflicts to gain control over you. They want to provoke a response from you, and seeing you being dramatic makes their day. Therefore, when practicing the grey rock method, you prevent the narcissist's manipulation by keeping all of your encounters as monotonous as possible. Keep the interactions short and give one word answers like yes, no, or I don't know whenever you can. Understand narcissism. According to therapist Claire Jack, the wounds that narcissists receive early in life cause them to belittle and bully others. Narcissists often lack self-awareness. To protect ourselves from narcissists, we must first understand the underlying cause of their behavior. Due to this psychological wound, they've dedicated their whole lives attempting to conceal their narcissistic wound. If you do anything to urge them to unravel the layers, they may perceive you as the enemy. Never try to fix or change a narcissist. Know that change is only possible if the narcissist is willing to examine their role in causing trouble for themselves and others. It's not about you. Picture this. Your partner is driving when he suddenly notices that he's driving over the speeding limit. Now he is upset because he is sure that you will receive a speeding ticket. He blames you by saying, I wouldn't have been preoccupied and got a speeding ticket if you hadn't constantly asked me questions. The narcissist cannot accept the responsibility because doing so would require them to regard themselves as human beings capable of making mistakes. Therefore, they will always paint themselves as the victim and shift the blame onto someone else. Their sense of grandiosity will not give credence to the notion that they can be imperfect in some way. Licensed professional counsellor Dr. Nakpangi Thomas says that when a narcissist blames you, remind yourself that you are not at fault. Keep in mind that your boundaries are crucial, especially minimizing what you are responsible for in their life. It can be daunting and stressful to navigate a relationship with a narcissist. However, know that you are not alone and understand that you have the power to protect yourself and reclaim your peace. 
If you don't believe you are capable of healing and moving on after the abuse, it is important that you seek professional help. Do you think you'll put any of these protection superpowers into practice? Let us know in the comments, and remember, you matter.